Hello, this is Brian. Today is a bright and beautiful Sunday, January 17th, 2020. I am, guess where? In the, well, I'm in the Santa Ana Mountains. I'll start off with that, but if any of that looks familiar over there, yes, I'm by Blue Jay Campground again. Yes. But I'm checking out some some areas I haven't really visited within the general vicinity, which uh, this little little oak grove here is something I've never seen. Well, up close and in person, never hiked over here before. I'm not really hiking; I'm just kind of walking around. Of course, a lot of poison oak here. But this is the other side of Blue Jay Campground. Well, closer to Falcon Group Camp, actually. But I've been in this general vicinity many times. There's this little use trail that comes out from the camping areas. I'm going to follow this for a minute or two and see what kind of cool stuff I can find along here. Wow. Yeah, it's a cool little oak grove here. Beautiful. Little coast live oaks. Now it kind of leads out here to the chaparral. Wow. Beautiful out here. This is young scrub oak right here. Wow, look at that. That is beautiful. Look at a pretty little pretty little scrub oak here. Like one of the scrub oaks I pointed out on my December 2nd video. But not not to the, not to the degree of that one. This one seems to have a lot of lobing in the leaves. Sometimes you'll get them with some lobing in the leaves, and the other ones will have some teeth along the edge of the leaves, and some of them will be completely smooth. Now, these little scrub oaks here. One thing about them, they're Taxonomy is very confusing. We're either looking at Quercus berbertifolia or Quercus acutidens. And I can't honestly tell you which one it is yet. However, I did get some I did get a hand lens. And maybe on my next video I will examine some of the hairs on the leaves if I can magnify them enough. So maybe I can maybe get a better idea. Because these could be Quercus berbertifolia or Quercus, Quercus acutidens. But then look at this big bad mamma jamma right here. This is an Eastwood manzanilla. This is a nice one right here. Arctostophilus glandulosa, subspecies glandulosa. You see that beautiful, beautiful dark red, reddish brown bark. Beautiful specimen right there. This is a nice one. And. Anybody who's seen my videos before knows I love the chaparral. Very big fan of the chaparral. Get some of the neatest stuff. And here we are, kind of winding around here. There's a type of gooseberry, or current. Not sure what, what species that is, but it's one of the ones that goes deciduous during the summer. And leaves out uh, after the rain, first rains of the winter. So you got the ones that are currants and gooseberries that shed their leaves in the fall and leaf out in spring. And then you got the ones that shed their leaves during the dry summer and leaf out after the rains. That could be, I'm not sure, that could be Rebase indicorum. I'd have to see the flower on it. Reba's into corn, white flowered currant. It has a whitish, whitish, somewhat inconspicuous flower. Oh wow! I'm 
gonna have to make a part two because my battery's about to cut out. So I'm gonna go ahead, stop this clip, and I'll see you in clip number two. Uh, I'll put a battery in. So I'll see you on clip number two. We'll continue off where I left.